And let's finish out by having a look at trigonometric functions. Now, what you're gonna find is that all of your knowledge on trigonometry, all the way back from like year nine and 10 is gonna be sort of prerequisite foundational knowledge for these questions. And I will bet if you're anything like me when I was learning this concept, um, you're gonna go in through this question and you're gonna realize at multiple points, oh, I can't remember how to do that. You do have the knowledge, you have learned this stuff, but it was a long time ago, um, or even if it wasn't a long time ago, you haven't practiced it recently. So you're gonna to need to call back all of that knowledge and able to do these questions. But for now, let me show you the process. For starters, um, I've got a straight integration question, okay? Um, a straight definite integral. Um, I want the function that if I were to differentiate it, it would land me here, sine of 2x. That's how we define the primitive, right? The thing you would have differentiated to get this, okay? Now I know um, sine comes from cosine, roughly speaking, but I know there's also negatives in there. There's gonna be a reverse chain rule as well. So something that might help you, definitely helps me, is to do a bit of extra working over on the side here. So for instance, I know I've got that 2x in there. So let's have, say for example, cos of 2x. What will be the derivative of this guy, okay? Well, I'm gonna do chain rule, so inside and then outside. The inside, it's going to be two. And then the outside is gonna be negative sine. So I'm getting here minus two sine two x. So in other words, if I were to integrate minus two sine two x, where I would end up is with cos two x. Now, this is not what I want, right? I don't want to have minus two out the front here. Um, I want just the sine two x all by itself. So what I'm gonna do in this red working is I'm gonna divide both sides by negative two. So that would give me, if I can write here instead of laser point, um, that would give me, if I divide by negative two, it's the same as multiplying by negative a half, uh, that would give me this on the left hand side, dividing by negative two, remember? And on the right hand side, it would give me this, okay? Success, this is what I want, right? This is the thing that if I integrate it, uh, sorry, if I differentiate it, I would land at sine 2x. So this guy in here, let me highlight it for you in green, this guy here is the primitive that I'm searching for. So now that I've got that in my mind and I've worked it out on the side here, I'm ready to reapproach this integral. The primitive is this negative a half, cos 2x from naught to pi on three. Uh, before I go ahead and do my substitution, as I've done before, I'm gonna take out that factor of negative one over two, and that means I'm just going to be evaluating this guy, naught to pi on three. Uh, let's do the substitution now. So negative one on two out the front, cos of two pi on three, firstly, and then cos of zero, secondly. Now, this is one of those points where you're like, oh yeah, this is something I can't remember. You can, of course, reach for your calculator and evaluate this straight from there, but um, cos of two pi and three, this is meant to be an exact value that we actually know. And hopefully the more you do this, the more you'll actually get familiar with the values. So if I've got this negative one over two out the front, um, I happen to know, because I've done this question many times, cos of two pi and three is negative one over two. Um, cos of zero, when you think about the cos graph and where, what it looks like, it starts from um, up high and then it goes down like a valley, right? So um, I'm gonna have, starting at the top, a minus one. That's the, the top part of the range. Now I'm ready to do the arithmetic. So negative one over two, negative a half take away one, that's gonna be negative three over two. My negatives cancel and I get four on the denominator. So that's what this looks like. And you can see how I had to call on some of my previous knowledge in order to do the integration part of this.